Hello, I'm Seth Johnson with Land a House. So in today's tiny house video, we're going to be installing purlins. I think that's what they're called. Basically, it's the uh, runners that go across the trusses. Because if you look here, all we have is the trusses with nothing going between except for the ridge piece there. So, I know I'm doing things a little bit backwards, having the OSB already up there, but I'm going to be installing those purlins. So I believe the ideal place to put these boards would be along the seam of the OSB to kind of give uh, support on that edge. Uh, then I've got these cheater boards though that are kind of in the way. So I may just offset that one and then I guess uh, this one over here. But then everywhere else I'll have those boards put in. My first step is going to be measuring this spot up here to see what um, the distance is between my two trusses. Sorry if I'm blocking your view here. Twenty-one and three fourths inches. Twenty-one and three fourths inches. To install these after the fact, I'm going to be using these little clips right here, and um, they go onto your 2x4 here, and then you can toenail into the side, and also uh, put your nails into your trusses from here. And so that will allow me to put these up against that OSB board um, without having to nail from the back side. And because I have a hard time getting up next to that OSB um, to keep these straight. And also, if you do that, you have to uh, stagger them to uh, get them on the trusses. And I didn't want to do that. I wanted to have them pretty well in line. Now I'm going to attempt to get these toenails started here on the ground. So that when we get up top, it'll be a lot easier to... Uh, get them going here. Eh, not the best, but... So I'm using two and a half inch nails here. That's better, I suppose. Just got the first uh, side done. There's the one that uh, is kind of off center there. And then the rest are good. So um, that actually made a huge difference in the stability of the whole building. So can't wait to get the other side done. Well, that concludes the video of installing these purlins, if that's what they're even called. Uh, I'm very impressed with the uh, stability it gives to the uh, trusses. There's no swing up there like there was before. Well, I guess the next video I'll probably be putting on the, uh, the blocking that goes uh, at the other end of the truss, um, kind of separates inside from outside. Thanks for watching this video. 
I'm Seth Johnson with Land the House, and I will see you next time. Bye.